This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 441, Giving Clear Feedback and Getting Clear on Team Purpose, both by Douglas Lang of altris.co.nz. And I'm Dan, I am your host, and welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily on this Wednesday. This is the podcast where I read to you from some of the very best blogs on entrepreneurship that we can find. And today's post is actually two posts from Douglas Lang of Altris. So with that, we're gonna get right to our first post and start optimizing your life. Giving Clear Feedback by Douglas Lang with altris.co.nz. A couple of recent coaching sessions have reminded me of the need to be as clear as possible when providing feedback on performance. In both cases, my coachees had been given a view from their manager that things were not going well and they wanted to see improvement. The difficulty for both of them was the fact that in neither case was their respective manager able to provide sufficient clarity about what he or she was looking for. So as a result, my coachees were left in a position where they were looking to improve something without being clear what the expected performance looks like, a difficult place to be. If you are a manager of people and something in the recent example strikes a chord with you, here are a few ideas you might wanna try to ensure that you are able to communicate clearly what you want. One, be as specific as possible about the cause for concern. The SBI, or Situation Behavior Impact, feedback model is useful for providing specific examples of what happened and the effect. Consider using this approach when giving feedback, both constructive and positive, to provide the level of clarity that is needed. Two, if you find it difficult to explain what you want that is different, paint a picture for the individual that describes how you would like things to be when they are working well. Tell them what is going on, what they are doing, what you are doing, etc. in the new world where things are working the way you'd like them to. That way, you are giving them a view of what good looks like for you. They can then determine how best to deliver this or ask you questions to clarify certain aspects. Three, think of where they have done things well on previous occasions and give these as examples of things you'd like them to do more often. Four, If you find it difficult to find such examples, think about the other people in the team who perform well in the particular area of concern. What is it that they do? Think through what is different about what they do. Do they seem to get what you want better than the individual who is causing you concerns? If so, perhaps they could help the individual to understand what you're looking for. Five, after you have given them the feedback, check in with the individual to see if they have understood what you want them to do differently. Simply asking them to summarize their understanding of what you have asked will give you and them the chance to see if they have truly understood or to realize that you have still not been clear in your communication. Taking the time to get clear in your own mind what it is that you want to communicate and doing the communication in a way that works for the recipient will give them a much better chance of being able to make the desired changes than some general, not very clear feedback that they just need to do better. As a result, you can save stress for you and the individual, improve performance, and in the most serious cases, avoid costly, meaning time and money, performance management and redundancy rehire costs. So next time you need to explain to one of your reports that their performance needs to improve, make time to get clear in your own mind what is missing. Think how best to communicate this. Consider using the SBI model. Check that the message has gotten through by asking the individual to explain back to you what their understanding is of what needs to change. And look for opportunities to provide positive and reinforcing feedback in the days and weeks following when you notice that they are doing things in the way you want. Okay, I've got another post coming up for you in just a sec, but first, not all work collaboration tools are created equal. Some help you organize your company's information. Others allow you to manage projects together. Well, Notion does both. It's one tool for your whole team to do it all. So beautifully designed, everyone will want to use it. For companies of all sizes, Notion provides one central and customizable workspace that can be tailored to fit any team and brings all teams together to get more done and move faster. Notion is an all-in-one team collaboration tool that combines note-taking, document sharing, wikis, project management, and much more into one space that's simple, powerful, and beautifully designed. Find out how Notion may be the missing piece your team needs to grow, get more done, and delight everyone who uses it in the process. 
It's what our team here at OLD uses to keep track of everything, and we highly recommend it. Learn more and get started for free at Notion.so. You can check it out on your own and invite as many folks as you want to see how it works. Take the first step toward an organized, happy team today. Again, at Notion.so. Getting Clear on Team Purpose by Douglas Lang with Ultras.co.nz. Ever had the uncomfortable feeling that while you and your team are working hard, something isn't quite right? There's lots of activity, but you get the sense that you aren't all pulling in the same direction. One cause for this can be a team not being as clear on its purpose as it could be. Unless thought has been given to what individuals or teams are there to achieve as an outcome, not the same as what they are there to do, a lot of time and energy can be wasted either doing things that are duplicating what someone else is or should be doing, or things take much longer than they need to. As a result, what is delivered can often be unnecessarily complicated and over-engineered or just plain wrong as a means to deliver the intended outcome or purpose of the team or individual. Once a team or individual leader is clear on what they are looking to deliver as an outcome, this provides more clarity about where they should really be spending their time. As a result, time can be spent on the important things rather than some of the trivia that steals time from us when we are not that clear on what we're trying to achieve. I ran a workshop this week with a group of leaders as part of one of our leadership programs. Part of the session took them through our process to define their team purpose. Going through this exercise reconfirmed for me the importance and value of the conversations that take place when a team works together to get clear on its purpose. Our process got the team to look at their purpose from a number of different perspectives. Whether they are a management team, leading other teams, or a process team, responsible for delivering value to the organization as a result of working together. What their role is with respect to the organization's vision, mission, and purpose. To check in to what the broader organization is looking for from the team. What the team's various stakeholders, internal and external to the organization, want from the team and what that means for the purpose of the team. How the team integrates with other teams, where there could be overlaps or conflicting interests that could be causing duplication of effort or confusion. In the workshop, after the leaders had been through the process, they commented on a number of benefits they noticed, highlighting potential overlaps in responsibility with other teams, identifying conversations to hold to clarify respective roles, helping them get clear on why they are there as a team as opposed to what they do as a team. For a project team, identifying other projects that have been done that could be used as learning or to short circuit some of their work, allowing the opportunity for team members to share different views and to ask questions in a safe environment, and as a result, to make it more likely that the team will be aligned, giving them a sense of how getting clear on their purpose will help identify how they should be spending their time and ensuring they are paying attention to the right things. So, if you are now feeling that there may be a lack of clarity in the team about its purpose, or even that it might be worth revisiting the purpose anyway, how about taking some time out with them to work through the questions like those previously mentioned that get them to consider their purpose from different perspectives. The process should give you and the team the opportunity to share your respective thoughts and build a collective view, which should help build energy and alignment and remove that discomfort. You just listened to the posts titled Giving Clear Feedback and Getting Clear on Team Purpose, both by Douglas Lang with ultras.co.nz. And Ultras, by the way, is all about releasing potential. They deliver coaching-based programs for organizations, teams, and leaders. While they have a range of specialized leadership development and executive coaching solutions, they believe that each leader, team, and organization is unique, and so the solutions they deliver must be distinctive. They've got a ton of resources on their site, uh, from their blog to executive coaching, recruitment support, leadership and team development, and much more. So come by ultras.co.nz for a lot more. And just so you know, Ultras is spelled A-L-T-R-I-S. And that's gonna do it for the Wednesday episode. Hope you're having a great week so far and that you enjoyed our post today. I will be back with another post for you tomorrow and that is where your optimal life awaits.